Hello and welcome to the second episode of uh, Kupara's Mapcraft. I'm sorry for the delay. I started with semester. But I pretty much have all the day free and I am pretty much going to make maybe three to four videos in total. So the third and four videos today. So you're gonna have you know enough for the whole month and this thing will be uploaded tomorrow. Um and maybe, maybe, you know, the third and fourth video too, but, you know, I would pretty much set it up so they go on later on the week. Okay, so with um, no further ado, let's just start with um, our video. As I mentioned um, last time, we are going to um, pretty much finish the map and start on the mountains. Let's try this. Hello, man. Welcome to. Oh, my, what was that? Okay. So, let's get into our business. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. Here we have our guidelines. We have our nice Mont Blanc over here. So we're going to start setting up, setting up the mountains. We're going to create a layer. We're going to name it mountains. thing there you go now now I think that is really useful is to have a layer we're just going to have like um, samples of all of our colors pretty much everything in here all the ink like all the drawings the mountains the cities the forest is going to be on a dark brown even even the border the outline of the continents is going to be on a dark brown so we're going to have that thing on a different layer for organization so we don't have to erase this thing later on because we're going to need this thing all throughout our process and let's say once we have the green from the forest the gray for the cities um, red may um, for whatever you know all the grass color we're also gonna put it on on this layer hmm. but for now we're only going to work on the mountains so here's the thing once we have this thing pretty much set up we are going to start working on the mountains We have, um, I, I, I haven't counted them, but maybe over, I don't know, 15, 20 mountains, different mountains on different directions, even standalone mountains, quite big ones. That, for example, that, well, those are actually hills, but you get the idea. Pretty much we're, what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to stamp one mountain after the next and we're going to be switching them there are ways to say um you know um draw mountains hand drawn if you have maybe like a, a pen a digitalizing pen you can totally use that there are quite easy tutorials you can practice them a few times and maybe do your mountains like that um that certainly is going to be faster than this method but you know, this is how i know how to do things and i don't have a a, a tablet with a pen to draw the thing on my computer. I don't have a Cintiq, no, nor anything of the matter. Now, what we're doing here is we are, you know, getting our trusty image to get a rough idea of the size of, of the mountains that we're going to draw. 
we know from this image the ones we just have that our mountains mountain ranges were like a little thin so we're going to try and get something a little bit thicker not like this because we actually get certain um, um, pixelization and it doesn't look um, sharp we want it to look sharp and nice so we are trying to get a nice size we're also gonna have to work side by side and get the thing quite thicker not by making the mountains bigger but by placing more mountains so in the beginning guys we pretty much have to just try it out set a good idea of the, of the size And once we have, once we have uh, something we feel quite comfortable with, um, we just start placing mountains. We can do it left to right, right to left, but or or actually we can start with like the big mountains at the center, and we can just w w work our way to the edges. There are benefits to both ways, actually. If we work from um, the edges. From one edge to, to, to the other we know and we can control the thing quite nicely as of as of we don't have like um, any missing space or extra space and we don't find the right mountain to put at the edge of the range we have pretty much control over that but it's going to be a little bit harder on the middle with the big mountains if we start at the center we're gonna have an amazing and beautiful center with the hugest um, with the huge big mountains and as we work to the edges we actually might have issues when we reach them because we are going to miss some space or we're going to have extra space so now you see pretty much um we are, we are just trying to follow here the line roughly this is this is not like we can totally draw outside of the line what we don't want is what we're looking for here and what the reason I am trying and I'm doing and doing and you know posing that uh, placing that mountain there is that we I don't want to place it over the other one because we're pretty much going to have like these both mountains are actually going to show and they are going to look quite awful you can actually you, you, you could actually saw the thing at this, at this point see it, it doesn't fit and out of practice here guys uh, my recommendation is just like keep working continuously don't do this kind of um, blank spaces don't do that it doesn't doesn't fit it really doesn't look at all and it's gonna be harder, you know, following the line. So yeah, well, we have some some things defined. You know, you see, we pretty much start working, and here we have this like thickness to it. We have like this little valley here in the middle between these two mountains and this is what we're going to do with everything later on as we go on and work on the on this see You see, it's a little hard thing here. This was a mistake. This was actually hard. This is going to co cost me quite a while doing this thing. That, that's why I am making this video like this, because it, it came out way long. Now, that look a little bit better. Okay, look, a little mistake. Let's 
so yeah let's get a little bit ahead of uh, ourselves okay now that's nice big mountain around the middle a little bit bigger on the size my recommendation go you know seeing this thing back and having and doing this post production on the audio is to stay and keep the size the thing was actually designed for don't make things be bigger maybe maybe like a little co a couple um, pixels nothing much you really need it like we can actually work a little with that like mm, depending on the size a, a, a big uh, big brush maybe around like um, the hundreds or two hundreds by default can get uh, 10 extra pixels of size sorry 10 points of size 5 points of size but mm, don't really go much beyond that because you know you, um, I, wa I, I was losing quality here and I just later on I just erased a bunch of things and I just went back yeah and, and you know me you know I, I, I like some natural organic things this is a fantasy map it can have mistakes it is an old map it was done by hand by people who did, do not on did, who mm, didn't understand perspective you know if we are going full on uh, medieval um being uh, historic, historically relevant on that so roughly historically relevant so yeah i mean having some mistakes going full on wabi sabi <coughs> it is perfectly acceptable now you see you see here the difference of size you saw the difference of size between this um zoom mountain that has quite some pixels on that one yeah you, yeah yeah we don't want that and here and that's why we don't want to get you know mountains over one another Erasing this thing on the same layer is really hard. You will actually need to to, po to place every mountain on like a, a different layer, and just go around and erase and erase and erase over and over again. A little bit of um, of connection is okay because they they can actually fit together like that, but you cannot really, you, you cannot go overboard with that. So yeah, it's pretty much practice, guys. And this thing took hours and the other ones the other mountain ranges whew, you, I, I didn't include those things in the video I, I didn't want to make like four pieces of mountains guys so yeah you start like you start to, to have feeling on the things on the mountains here as, as you connect them pretty much my advice, my main advice is that you have to follow your dwarven god. There is a dwarf inside of you guys and you need to follow the guy or woman, you never know. They are going to tell you where the mountains go. You can have some little blank spaces here and there, some valleys, some you know mountain passes. You're going to see them. You're going to discover these mountains as, as you draw them, as you place them. Each little nook, each little crack, every valley, even rocks, um, boulders on, on the valleys and, and whatnot. And it's okay to race. It's okay to race and, and you know, we are of your process. This is these are actually really great brushes. You can you can do like this little erasing. Um, this, I just erase something there and it just look natural. I you can take a little bit away from mountain and it's not going to look bad. I don't even know what I was doing here. Probably testing something. A mistake. And those little things are okay. Oh, 
okay that okay that's more like it see here guys I, I, I remember this I was looking for the answer my dwarven god gave me and it took a while but I got there I actually got there having so many mountains something that I highly recommend is try to avoid repetition you're going to have to repeat mountains here and there but don't place them next to each other you know try to place them as far apart so they are not you cannot really notice them I mean you will notice them at some point and you're gonna say hey this mountain is this mountain but they are going to be so far apart and, and like so integrated with like little, um, little definitions and you can maybe put in a little hut, a little um, a tree um, and, and names and, and rivers and all those things are going to take weight out of that repetition and it's just going to look amazing and beautiful at the end. It's like, I don't know, uh, what would be a, a good um, metaphor for this? Um, a, pa a parent shirt. Um, you can have a parent shirt with a bunch of, I don't know, um, ice creams, ice cream cones, and yeah, they're pretty much the same ice cream cone, maybe color changes, why not? And yeah, it is repeated all throughout the shirt, but it looks okay, and it looks like a whole shirt, not just a bunch of repetition of the same ice cream illustration it looks quite nice and that's what this method actually achieve if you follow your god and, and, and do it truly and these brushes actually have like many heels and, bold, and boulders and like all, all the standard details you can put in That those things are actually going to make everything unique as you go and especially here since this is a dwarven kingdom we're going to erase a little bit of some mountains to put in the um, the dwarven fortresses and uh, that, that is going to help a lot but yeah it, it, it's, it's quite some videos to reach to that part Okay. I'll show you guys. See here, what we want is thickness. We want something behind this mountain, obviously it's smaller than this one, which kinda works a little bit like um, perspective. See, you can see it actually here with this little mountain over here, smaller behind this one. That doesn't mean this mountain is smaller or, or it can be taller, but this is pretty much how things were drawn. This one are actually quite high, obviously. And here, we just want to have like this little bird um, lake is going to have like this side of some mountains here. That is quite interesting. And then we go like just by placing placing things we just start you know um finding all these answers look quite nice we actually start like making some some perspective there but hey my god my um, my god didn't tell me that 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 little mountain didn't belong there Oh, look at that, the Onion Mountain. That's what you call this one. This is like, has quite a weird shape. The Onion Mountain. It's a fun one. I actually found that that's the mountain that is less fitting on the whole set. It is funny and it's interesting, but yeah, maybe like a really big landmark. Uh, but not for the... Uh, it's a standalone thing, it's, it's really weird. It doesn't really feed our mountain range much. 
No. You know, we we had some little blank uh, blank space on the mountain. We just play somewhere um, a little bit lower. Um, we're gonna feed it. Eventually, we're gonna feed it out with some more things, heels and whatnot. See, those are that, that's the ball that I was talking about. That is a really great thing to fill out spaces. Now, there's something I want to show you. Now that's an interesting um, direction this mountain this mountain takes here. It's not that natural. Hey, dwarfs! Yes, that that that's okay. And that's the thing. Like I go so back and forth because I didn't follow through the line, or I didn't build from the center out, and I just built a bunch of pieces. So you can either go from one edge to the other, as I already mentioned, or from the center to one edge, one you know, left and right. Which you, you should try both, both maybe, and you see which one works better. Maybe depending on direction of your mountain range, this one that is horizontal ones were better than, uh, let's say, a vertical mountain range like the Andes. You kind, you kind of have to try those things. See, okay, that that's better. It's better. There is a little valley here with that mountain. That mountain over there looks amazing. And we have to build thickness. I put something in here that looks really weird. The valley looks really weird over here. It even looks like some sort of writing, which can be interesting. I mean, like this really weird mountain range, which can be some sort of glyph, giant glyph, you know. See, now, that, now we have uh, something that looks quite more natural over here, that's much more fitting. And so we have to start keeping on, you know, building some nice thickness to this, to this mountain range. You put an onion there. Hmm. It actually feed there, that seemed that now oh, that's interesting. The thing with this mountain range is that we're going to have to put like a bunch of dwarven fortresses here and there, it's going to be really weird. It's going to be hard, I I, I will have to um erase little pieces of mountains here and there, they're going to be tricky. But hey, I mean, it's a challenge and I'm totally up for challenges. So yeah, let's see. Okay, down now, that's the Dwarven Fortress I wanted to show you guys. That's the thing, there are a couple ones, one is a little bit darker. So that's pretty much how it goes you know over the mountain and we kind of have to erase a little bit of the mountain so it fits better hmm? but it actually goes a little bit out of the mountain and it's pretty much you can pretty much see that thing quite big is that thing is like a mountain sized thing on the outside you can actually maybe you know reduce the size a little bit and have you know that you know, okay that that's even better See, that's pretty much how it goes. 
I'm gonna actually flip it so it, it is looking left if it, if it works but yeah we have to, have to I, I will have to put um like seven of those on these mountain ranges and you know if um Joe Pico if you're there if you're watching this I would pretty much I will really appreciate if I could have like some um up, um fortresses that are looking the other way of the mountain not to the front side but to the back they will be pretty neat not the most ideal for map I know but you know it it, it fits that you can have like entrances from one side to the other that really is more fitting, if you ask me. And here we have, you know, our guidelines. We know pretty much we're gonna have mountain, a little mountain here, a mountain over there. This one here, and I'm gonna maybe put like a little bit mountain over here to have some actual rivers coming out in this little, um, I don't know, like um, island. Maybe, maybe I don't know, I don't know, some mountains on the up topmost continent or you know the the, the 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 weird face face looking section of the map okay. so let me show you how things goes this is an interesting section why does this thing and this was tricky I, I wouldn't say like this was actually not my brightest moment this really cross section here is really weird looking it was tricky to make it look fine because you know ma uh, mounted don't do this but I mean it, it kind of makes sense on the map you know from a, a drawing point of view and that, that's that's the really thing choosing sometimes between what is easier to do and what is not um, what is actually what makes sense on the map so now um, we're actually looking for some some things on the map getting some nice mountain references And here we go. This is an almost finished mountain range. A, a thin version. Now we have to build in some thickness to it. And for example, here we kind of have this nice mountain pass over here. Let me show you guys. Um, also, what about the heels? We're gonna have to put a bunch of heels to make a really nicer integration, as you saw on the previous map. All around the mountains, and that that, that actually helps a lot. So yeah, I might also include some mountains over here, maybe, to the edge of this weird land piece, because, you know, that's pretty much what players are going to see. Oh, and we have like this cliff over here, this is going to be a, a nice pass we're going to actually have here, like, somebody's going to come here and they, they are going to have like this pass between this, this tall mountain and, and this place. And this is why I would highly recommend you to avoid it. Let me show you for a moment here. Let me 
you see the difference in pixelization how we have like this really blurry mountain over these sharp ones don't get your brushes oversized you're going to do this thing to yourself but you know put in the hours put in the extra effort with you know smaller mountains more mountains but this is a loss of quality not my best judgment but that's okay i mean with some nice colors you know our old paper texture that we're going to put at the end of the whole process is going to look much better but if you do a whole mountain range like this yeah it's gonna notice you're gonna you, yeah it, you know it's gonna show it's gonna show So yeah. Let's keep looking at the thing. I actually forgot to place the guidelines on those two mountains, so I would pretty much have to do it. Okay, actually, I already did it, but yeah, I mean, you're watching an old video. So, yeah, guys, um. Thanks for watching and you're going to you know see the end of, um, of all this process on the third video this one this one actually was a shorter one throughout the powers of post-production by post-production i mean like i am actually taping audio over the old video and i was just moving it around because my computer apparently cannot you know make uh, or withstand all that um, post-production power for some reason and it's a quite a good PC but that's another story so yeah I mean you ha you got quite a short video here a little over half an hour half the time but yeah you pretty much since this is pretty much repetition it's okay and I'm pretty you're gonna see something similar maybe with the forest maybe just one forest and execution and pretty much um, some nice detail details on the next on, you know some other forests you know in a future video but yeah i'm pretty much gonna finish the the mountains on the third video on the third episode the next one and on the and on the fourth no wait hmm no on the fourth one actually i think i think i finished the mountains and the rivers you're going to see the end of the mountains and the rivers in the last video and I'm pretty much going to show you some little details and things you can do here and there. I'm going to, you know, do you like some, you know, quite nice like little tour of the mountain ranges. Which is one of my favorite parts. Yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, do, you know, leave me some information, um, criti criti um, criticisms, hopefully, you know, constructive ones in the comments. And yeah, um, thank you for, you know, spending this lovely map making time with me and i will see you in our third episode good night